Hey there, Gator Mom here. I hope you're having an awesome week. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking all about this awesome Crosby backpack from MZ Wallace. All right, so before I dive right on into this review and packing video, I wanna let you guys know that I am newly a part of the MZ Wallace Ambassador Program. So what that means is I have a affiliate link down below that you can shop all MZ Wallace through me. And a couple of times a year, I will be getting a box from MZ Wallace with a couple of their bags to review for you guys. I'm super excited because this is one of them that was sent to me for the September um, Ambassador box. And I absolutely love this backpack. It is one that I've had my eye on for quite some time. I am a big, big fan of their Crosby and Metro line um, kind of collection of bags. I have the most out of those particular collections. I love the way they wear. I love how they are so soft and comfortable on the body. I had this backpack all weekend long down at Disney Springs and the weather wasn't that great. <laughs> and then I also had it last night at our first soccer practice and it poured on us pretty much the entire time. This up here is probably my favorite feature of this bag. And it's a small feature, but I think it really makes the bag. And that is the grab handle here at the top. It's not your traditional grab handle that's usually like the same material of the bag or sticks up kind of awkwardly on some bags. This one is really functional, yet it kind of adds a little bit of a fanciness to the bag, if you will. I love it. I love the hardware on it. I love how it kind of lays against the bag, and it's just my favorite part of the bag, along with all of the hardware and the leather zipper pulls. I just think that the bag overall is really, really awesome. So with this bag, you do get a small little pouch. Um, I am not using it in the packing video, but I thought I would mention it right off of the bat so that you guys did know exactly what comes with the bag. It has a little ring here on the side and you can attach it um, inside the bag if you wish. So let's go ahead and get on into the bag. On the front of this bag, you have three external zipper pockets. And I love that because it really organizes everything, but makes it so that I can grab for it really easy. Up here in the smallest pocket down here in the front, I just have small essentials that I grab for all the time, like lip products. I also have a down in here, my lippy clip, which has my sunscreen chapstick in there. I also have my earbuds tucked down inside there. Over here on the side, I just have a thing of icebreakers. These are mainly for the kiddos, they love them. And then I also have a pack of gum. So all small kind of things like that, little bracelet for my daughter, she's stuck in there over the weekend. But anything small and slim, like thin things, wallets, keys, you could really pack anything down in that front pocket. It does go up here at the top a little bit, so if you have papers or something that is wider, you have that option there as well. Right behind that pocket, you have another one that's just a little bit bigger. It goes the whole um, length down here in the bottom of the bag. And in here, it's absolutely perfect for things like hand cream, which is what I have in here. This is a newer posh scent that I'm loving for fall. I talked about this on Instagram. It's so good, one of my favorites. Then I also have in here a pretty large wallet from Dagny Dover. This is one of their like accordion type wallets and I love it. It's super thin, fits in all my bags. It has been a favorite for a couple of months now. But as you can see the size of that pocket, it is really big. You could almost fit like a small clutch in here if you wanted to put like a smaller bag right here, like a little grab and go type thing and then keep your big bag in the car. There's a lot of options with this big pocket here in the front directly behind both of those pockets, you have a third pocket. And again, this pocket goes all the way down to the bottom here of the bag. This one here, I was holding all of our COVID type stuff, if you will, all the face masks, all the wipes, all the things um, for being down at Disney Springs. These are actual, these are actually extra masks that I had from over the weekend. This was one I was using last night. Here are some extra ones um, for my son. So I just have a bunch of different things like that tucked down in there. Um, I also have a bunch of wipes. I have some Pure Well wi Pure L wipes that I found the other day at the store. I thought I was winning the lottery when I found those. Some Clorox wipes. And then I also have a package of wet ones in there. These are kind of half empty, so that's why I threw them all in there. So much more room down in here, though. You can really put so much down inside this particular pocket. It is a great size. 
So that's all I have on those external pockets. Moving along kind of on the outside of the bag before I really dig into the big part, you have two side pockets. These aren't insulated or anything like that, but they are trimmed in this really nice like leather trim that the zipper pulls are trimmed with. I don't have anything in this pocket. I was carrying a water bottle over the weekend and my phone, I will sometimes slip down in there. Over here in this side pocket, it's exactly the same as the other one. I just have a um, perfectly posh hand sanitizer. This is like a gel hand sanitizer, and this one is a spray. So I have both of those down in there for whenever we need them. On the back of this bag, you have a awesome feature that you can use when traveling. That's what kind of makes it the traveler backpack. You have a big pocket that has a magnetic closure. And then down here at the very bottom of the bag, you have the option to unzip it to put your luggage sleeve up through the bag whenever you're traveling. So I love that about this bag. I didn't use the back um, pocket here for anything really over the weekend. I was just throwing kind of miscellaneous things in there. Last night, however, I did throw in my Lily Jade medium packing case full of snacks for the soccer field. <laughs> we were there for like two and a half hours and this was great. It sticks out a little bit on the back here of the pocket, but it just held our snacks. So it was just kind of like a grab and go. So that's really what I use this pocket for is just last minute things. If my daughter wants me to throw a book in there or what have you, I have the option to have one more external pocket. So like I said, we used ours for the snacks. Moving on into the big part here of the bag, you have one zipper pull that goes the entire way around and the zipper comes about a little more than halfway on the side here of the bag. So all of your things aren't gonna fall out whenever you open it up. As you can see here, I have a lot packed in this backpack. It can really hold a lot, especially if you're traveling or you can just take things out in the backpack, still remains its shape and it's super soft and comfortable to wear. Over the weekend, obviously, when we were at Disney, I didn't have so much in here, but last night, at the soccer fields, I really packed it because we were there forever. <laughs> so in here, and I'll go ahead with the main bulk and then show you all of the pockets when I'm done. I have a book that I am almost done reading. I started it over vacation over the summer and I need to finish it because it's so good. Then I also have a little on the go art kit. I share this in a ton of my videos so I don't want to take a lot of time. But those of you that may not have seen it, I'll like open it and kind of glance through it for you. It's basically like pens and highlighters and pencils, stickers, and then back here, I have a Sudoku book. I also have a word find and then tons and tons of play packs. It's pretty much a little on the go art kit for all three of my kids, all three of their ages. It's great because if we're out to eat or like sitting on the side of the field, I can pop this out and it can kind of keep them busy. So I have that in there. I also have my weekly simplified planner. Then the only other thing I have in the bulk here is an MZ Wallace pouch. I love this. I don't think they have it currently on their website, but they do tend to release it like from time and time, like different prints and different seasons and things like that. But you'll just have to kind of keep checking back on the website. But basically it has a little handle here on the side and then you have it two zipper pulls and this just holds all of the things. <laughs> I'm not gonna bore you and take it all out, but basically back here we have like trash baggies, nail file, band-aids for days. Um, all of this little kind of eyeglass cleaner. Then up here I have Excedrin for me. I have things like our healer stick, which we never leave without. I also have extra hair ties, travel scissors, all of the things. Like I said, there's so much tucked down inside this little pouch and it holds everything so nicely sitting here in the bag. Then back here on the back part of the bag, you do have an attached little key leash that's sewn inside the bag over there. I just have my keys attached here and they were tucked down in the back there. I also have, oh, I have a face mask <laughs> that I bought at Disney over the weekend. I tucked it down in there and I don't think I have, no, I don't have anything else in that back pocket. You also have here, while I'm back here, I'll show you, you have a, another zipper in the inside here of the bag. It's also trimmed in the MZ Wallace like leather logo there. When you open up the zipper, inside this pouch you have two little tiny pouches or little pockets if you will which is great to organize all the small things inside here and then of course you have all this room in this big pocket here so this is pretty traditional setup inside the zipper pockets inside mz wallace bags so it's also inside the backpack here now i know a few of you will probably ask me if a laptop will fit in here 
so I wanted to show you. This is my 13 inch MacBook, so I wanna slip that down in there so that you guys can see how it fits. Obviously, no troubles here getting the backpack inside, or getting the backpack, getting the laptop inside. There's a little bit more room here at the top, so possibly if you have a little bit bigger than a 13 inch laptop, you would probably be fine with it. I have still tons of room inside this pocket. I could put my planner and a book and all of that even inside this sleeve. So definitely laptop will be perfectly fine back there. The only other pockets inside this bag are two here on the front. I just have a little tiny Mickey pouch that a sweet friend over on Instagram actually sent to me. They came in like a little pack of two and they are ouch pouches. Super adorable. I have a bunch of these small cars for my youngest. Then over here in this pocket, I just have a pen and I also have an external charger. I was actually using that last night. So have that in there. I could stick my phone in the pocket with it and it's perfect. And then another pen. So that is everything that I have packed inside this Crosby backpack. I absolutely love it. It is a favorite of mine. I will be using it a lot here, especially in the coming weeks. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. As always, I will have links to everything in this video or everything that I can find down below. If you have um, any questions, feel free to leave them also in the comments. Have a great day.